Hello there, and uh, welcome to a slightly different episode of Lord Lucan. I just wanted to address the uh, the events of last night. Um, if you're on the stream or you've watched the stream back, uh, you'll notice there was a bit of an abrupt end, uh, as um, unfortunately Mr. Mocha had left the uh, left the scene. Um, at the time, of course, I uh, wasn't quite sure if this was fake, if it was a bit of a prank or, or what was going on. But, uh, but since then, some light uh, has been shed on, uh, on the whole situation, and uh, I wanted to just uh, address that uh, for myself. So let's take a little look at, uh, at the, the point of the interview where, um, where, where uh, everything happens. Um, so it begins here, of course, I'm talking to, um, I'm talking to, to Mocha. So I said, you know I'm what, gonna, I'm older. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump in just a, a wee touch there. I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to drag Help you me. back. Drag. So at this point, you can see um, that Mocha's drawn his gun. And from the yes. side. To the jump, jump, jump. From the side, you can see a pair of individuals uh, approach him. Um, now, at first, I, I think at first I saw that there was a couple of people in the screen. But didn't um, I didn't read his uh, expression quite uh, quite as well as I could have done. Uh, the from from my side, the, the it's quite a small box that I can see using my um, when I'm using the encoder in order to stream this. It's quite a small box, so I couldn't really exactly see what happened in so much detail. But you can see then two individuals come and approach Mokka, Um and then of course, um, uh, unfortunately, he has to uh, to draw his gun. And, uh, and he defends himself. Of course, I didn't know this at the time. I got a call then from uh, Mr. Montana Mills uh, asking me if, uh, if it was fake. Um, and it was at that point, it sort of then uh, it occurred to me that, um, that actually this is, is something, uh, something's happening. Um, slightly later, uh, I spoke to, him, uh, spoke to him again and uh, he sent me uh, another clip, uh, which is this one. The Sumlin Area Command were dispatched to a report of a shooting that occurred inside a residence at the 700 block of Bloomingfield. Caller indicated that her boyfriend had shot a male inside the residence. Officers then formed an arrest team. They went into the house. They made contact with the boyfriend who was taken into custody without incident. Indicated that there was a male that he shot that was inside the backyard. Officers then cleared the rest of the residence, went into the backyard where they did locate a black male who had been shot. They then began to provide medical aid until medical arrived and unfortunately pronounced him deceased here on scene. Based on preliminary details, we know the following. We know that prior to the shooting, the female who lives at the residence was involved in an altercation with our deceased male in front of the residence. That during that altercation, the male removed a bat from the back uh, trunk area of a vehicle and began to hit several of the vehicles that are parked in the driveway of the residence. It is then a scene that he goes towards the front door of the residence. The front door of the residence does appear it was kicked in. At some point in time, he then makes it to the backyard area of the house, uh, and then that's when the gunshots occurred. And facing charges, the one who shot the other victim, or is it self-defense? I think right now it's too early to, to give a definitive answer on where that currently stands. Obviously, it, it does appear... Uh, that there's a justified aspect of this, but I think our investigation still needs to confirm that. From my two cents, you can clearly see he's defending himself against two people that have uh, approached him. And it sounds like by the, by the story there that Mocker's girlfriend was, um, was telling that these guys had malicious intent. It goes without saying that I've got a great deal of love and respect to give to the, the family of the deceased. Um, and of course, those around Mocker as well. It's, it can't be an easy thing for everybody to be going to. And there you go. That's uh, that is it as far as I'm aware. Um, I'll try and keep you updated if I can. If there are any other developments, um, but definitely a thank you also to Montana Mills for uh, reaching out to me and uh, and letting me know, keeping me up to date with what's going on. I really appreciate that and a lot of respect for doing that. So aside from that, that's it from me. And of course, as always, stay beautiful. Love to my three, and please do, really do, take care of yourself.